All right, welcome back. We're going to take a look at the subxiphoid uh, view on the uh, cardiac exam. Uh, this is also a, a uh, part that you could maybe see on your fast uh, when you're doing, doing this, but uh, we're going to look at uh, three examples of a normal ejection fraction. Just to review our binary questions, and in this case, we're going to only look at the uh, left ventricular function so that we can appreciate uh, is, there, is it normal or not. So when we look at this here, um, identify your thick chambered uh, chamber, and that's going to be your left ventricle, which is right here. And we can tell that that uh, function is uh, normal. Now remember, when we're doing uh, this in a cardiac exam, we're going to have our probe marker to the right because we're in a cardiac setting. Uh, for those of you that do this in abdominal settings, um, your probe marker is going to be towards the patient's right. Uh, that would be, for example, if you're doing a fast exam. But we can appreciate here that there is a... Uh, um, normal ejection fraction um, and that that is compressing well there or contracting well. Uh, on our second example we can again recognize the thick chamber right here. Our right ventricle is lying over the top. Uh, we could have we could have increased our gain a little bit here to see those inner walls a little bit better but we can see that this is normal compression of that left ventricle as it collapses down and contracts down to uh, so normal ejection fraction there. Um, additionally, we have another example here. So uh, the three examples kind of show you different lines of the heart and some different views. Um, in this patient, we can see this thick wall here again, left ventricle. And we've got all the chambers closing in while on, upon each other. So these, uh, again, are normal ejection fractions. So, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any uh, comments.